Previously, he issued a memo to disregard any and all communications from Roy V. Janssen, Emily V. Janssen, Ma. Lord Seleni Lopez, Ricardo V. Janssen Jr. Which necessarily includes Sheena Genton, Silver Martinez, Andy Bontorillo and all other persons acting in their behalf. I assure all managers and employees that you are protected and covered by my authority. Do not be afraid. I noticed that each time the above named person issue a memo either to explain or to do other acts, managers and personnel become anxious. I understand that all of us are now under a great deal of stress and tension. Rest assured that I am doing all means possible to put an end to this situation and to protect each and every one of you from any form of pressure and intimidation. In addition, I advise all branch managers to conduct consultations every 8 o'clock in the morning and 2 o'clock in the afternoon so that all concerns and problems are addressed as soon as possible. For your guidance, thank you very much. To my four children, Roy, Emily, Selena and Ricky. The past weeks have been difficult for me. I was supposed to be relaxing on vacation. Instead, you took control of our head office at Manslingen and made yourselves the new officers of our company. You talked about preserving your father's legacy. This is not what your father and I wanted. We installed the array for a reason. For the past decade, I have seen that your father and I made the right decision. Our company has never been better. Every year, we keep breaking the previous year's performance. It's all because of Leo Ray. You had your chance to prove yourselves while your father was alive. He placed great value on merit and competence. Bearing the Ensign name does not automatically make you capable of handling this company. Despite this, Leo Ray did not neglect you. You have greatly benefited from his sacrifices in this company. You were given what is due to you, all without you breaking a single sweat. It pains me then that you will dare disrupt our company. You put all our employees, who have been loyal to us all these years, into a state of fear and confusion. I am old. Whatever the outcome of all our cases, you are still comfortably well off. Your father and I made sure of that. It is our 18,000 employees who are the losing party here, employees who constantly worry about their jobs as a consequence of obeying one party and disobeying the other. If you can still find love and respect within yourselves for me, I simply ask that you stop your attempt of taking over the terminals, the branches and head office. Every time you bring your security forces and legal team to force yourselves in, our people experience anxiety and fear? Please do not interrupt the peace and order of our commuters and employees by forcing yourselves to illegally take over the terminals especially Bacolod North and Bacolod South. Our employees have spoken. Our 15 branches have spoken. They only recognize Leah Ray as president. If you insist on the legality of your claims, let the courts decide first before proceeding on any actions against the terminals or against any employees loyal to me or LRY. If you will not listen to me because your hearts are already cold, listen to your 18,000 employees, the very same people who toil day and night to make us what we are now. They deserve that.